Hey guys, welcome back to Mark Customs Garage. Welcome. Today's video, we'll, we will be installing our automation kit on our Miller Spectrum 875 Auto Line Plasma Cutter. All right, I haven't seen any videos on, on YouTube about installing the automation kit on the Miller 875. So, here we are. Let's get to it. This is the automation kit and what it comes with. Um, basically, it's like it's uh, it's the in internal remote harness, the C CNC um, signal cable, voltage sensing signal wire assembly, the remote pendant control, and a shield sense tab. So the only thing that this kit was missing that made it incomplete was this receptacle lead and that. Uh, remote pendant on and off switch. You don't need that necessarily to run the CNC table. You do uh, need this uh, right here to run the table so you don't have to hardwire anything and that only cost me 70 bucks. So score. And this is where the cool story comes in. So check it out. I called up my local welding supply uh, here in downtown Kansas City and I asked them if they had this kit in stock and they said, actually we do. So I went down there and they said, oh darn, you know what? <clears throat> we, we parted this kit out to, uh, to a local business and uh, there's nothing we can do with this wire kit. So, hey, here, here you go. I'm like, are you serious? I'm, I'm about to walk out of here with, you guys gonna just give me this wire for free? It's just not just any wire. I mean, it's a plug and play harnesses for the Miller Spectrum. Anyways, long story short, here I am with about $600 worth of freaking wire for a plasma cutter. Lucky me. How? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh, check out the insides. So these two areas right here, one and two, it's RMT1 and RMT2. Uh, seeing that we are running the factory Miller machine torch, we will be using RMT1 dry. And we will also be connecting into this ground lead with this receptacle. So this is the ground lead. Let me back it up. There. There's a ground lead, and it also has like a little tail back there that's going to reconnect the already ground lead. And then this is the pigtail that will go in to RMT1. Then we're going to route this um, to connect back of here. Let's get to it. All right, next in this automation kit, we will be installing the voltage sensing signal wire assembly. Um, this we are gonna run right here and we will connect right there. Um, I believe that is the RC48 connection. I 
I thought this was a little nice add-on. They give you this cover to keep the dust out of your receptacle. So Miller also supplies this uh, wiring schematic on the inside of the cover of the machine. I figured, I thought that was a nice touch if you ever needed to chase down or diagnose your system. Very detailed. Give you guys a closer look. Yeah, baby. Getting it. Got the cords all 
Check out the cords. Can you see the cords? No tension on those cords at all. All right, so our next step uh, in setting up this table, we're gonna download a DXF file and um, just automatically transfer it into this fire control program and try to do a test cut for the first time. Exciting, it's freaking exciting, man. All right, so let me uh, get this set up. I'm gonna hook up the plasma, t t uh, the th I'm gonna hook up the plasma cutter. I'm freaking nervous. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, is this is the moment, y'all? The moment. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get everything set up, and uh, see you guys in a second. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, the next day, um, I got burnt out last night, and then, you know, had things going through my head. Like, what what could be the, the the cause of this? What could be the cause of that? What's the solution? I'm, I'm on the internet. Anyways, hey. I've got a lot of things tuned in. I've done a lot of test cuts. I won't say a lot, but I've, I've done a couple test cuts and I've uh, been documenting uh, my my uh, my feed rates and my uh, pierce delays and all that stuff. So uh, I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I got this down. I'm gonna do a ornament cut. So I'm gonna turn on my fume extractor and I'm gonna push start on the program and. We're gonna do this. It's gonna come out perfect. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's check this out. Flip it around. Um, see if I can pick it up. We got a we got a cut part, y'all. Little ornament there. Oh yeah. <laughs> So basically what, what ended up happening was um, the torch started to move before uh, the, the, the arc was even initiated. So you know before the plasma, the, the machine torch even ignited, the, the tooling started moving. So that was the difference of that quarter inch. So we, we got it down and the measurements from this end matches this end and that's what you want. You got to get it down. So yeah. Well, here we are. We did it. These are the ornaments that are on the fire share program. I cleaned this one up, as you see. And then this is another one. 
It's got a little nasty slag on the back side of it. You know, we still got some some tuning to do on the pierce delays and you know the feeds and speeds. It's all good. We're I'm new to this. And I'm sure you know some of you guys are, are out there too. And this is like my first made cut, you know, that I just, just designed myself just to see what I could do. So that was cool. I'm still trying to figure things out. You know, I need to figure out how to make holes and parts and stuff. So yeah. Check it out, man. It's pretty cool. Real freaking cool. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hey, real real quick, disclaimer. Yeah, you know I was gonna come with the disclaimer. You mess around and burn up your damn house or toast your freaking $3,000 plasma cutter, don't come, don't come looking for me. Marcus ain't even, mm-mm. Nope, it ain't this guy. It was, it was that guy. Yep, that guy right there. <laughs> hey, well that is it guys. I hope you guys made it to the end of this video. I know it was a very long video, but I tried to be as detailed as I possibly could so you guys can wire up your own Miller Spectrum, okay? That is the 875 version, not any of the other ones. I'm only, com I'm only made this video for the 875. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. It's 875. All right, so hey, we did it. We fired our plasma cutter up for the first time. That's awesome, it's freaking awesome. So hey, check it out. Since then, um, I've also done some rearranging here at Mark Customs uh, since we got this table running. I'm gonna show you guys how, how we did it. So how we got our new setup. So I put some casting wheels on our welding table and um, let me just show you, check it out. Tell me what you guys think. So that first bay over there, we've got, we've got the, let me see if I can zoom out or zoom in. Let's see. Nope, I can't zoom out anymore. Anyways, yeah. So check that out, guys. That is the new setup here at Mark Customs Garage. We've got the fume extractor utilizing the bolt tables, the welding table and the plasma cutter table. And obviously we've got the plasma cutter next to the plasma table and the welder next to the welding table. And that fume extractor will reach both of those tables very well. So, hey, that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> We've come a long way this year, y'all. And it's coming to the end of the year. It is Christmas Eve right now. Yeah, you can see my outfit change. So, hey. I'm gonna wish you guys all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy whatever, dude. Um, so yeah, so Happy New Year. <laughs> so it has been an awesome year. I've, I've only been a YouTuber for not even a year and we've come this far. Um, check out my videos if you haven't already. I appreciate everyone subscribing, everyone liking my videos. Um, yeah, you know, I hope you guys appreciate the content that I'm bringing to you. And next year, 2022, we're going to make it do what it do, y'all. We're going to make some cool shit here at Mark Customs Garage. Excuse my language for any of y'all, you know, sorry, but shit. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you again for watching. Stay humble, hustle harder, peace.